Hello guys, I'm Bilgun Varshilo and I'm from Mongolia. So today I'm gonna show you how I created this Deadshot character from Suicide Squad. Let me just explain you very briefly what really went behind creating this character and show you how to shade how I shaded his skin. First of all, let me just show you what it's really looking like inside Maya. Except clothes and his body parts here, everything was modeled inside Maya. Let me just show you the white frames. As you can see here, I just tried my best to keep the modeling polygons in quads so that uh, it's, it looks more cleaner. As you can see here, it looks cleaner and smoother and no mess. Okay. After that, actually, I just re top out his clothes inside Maya 2. I did the re topology tool, kind of just make it live and uh, go to um, re top out for the eyelash, beard, and uh, eyebrow. I used X Gen. Just um, you can see here, I used five types of description on his beard. For eyelashes, I used three. For eyebrow, only one. Kind of just blend it nicely. Okay, let me just go through skin shading real quick. I think it's the what really everyone want to see what's making everyone interested and I do too uh, I want to see him in a shaded mode okay for the bez, bez I it just doesn't really necessary for me um, so that I just skip it for the speckler I use this map for the roughness, I just re reversed the specular map and just fixed to control, get more control over the shading. For the, I think um, specular was uh, giving me more like overall shininess on his skin. Then I used roughness to control that shininess, like. It's like it, it allows me to give where I want dry skin, where I want shiny skin, right? For IOR, I just use 1.145, 1 yes, you can see it here anyway. And for soft surface color, I just use diffuse color, I just painted in other software. And I used uh, type random walk and scale 1.03. It really gives me that nice subsurface coloring, I mean, uh, surface effect, right? So I used, um, this is just personal, by the way. Okay, then I went to Geometry tab and signed Bump Mapping. And bump Mapping really gives you that breaking uh, effect of the specular and roughness map. These two maps just gives you kind of overall shininess on his skin then bump map really controls the details on his skin so after signing all these maps on his skin I went to hyper shade and kind of just used these color correction 
nodes to get more control of my maps for example just increase one point gamma exposure etc so that you can get more shiny look on the on your map itself okay I think that's it guys um, I hope you gonna try out my setting for your skin or maybe your project and uh, see you and bye.